Hey, we expect to learn new details about Tiger Woods' arrest in South Florida. The golfing legend released a statement saying overnight his DUI arrest was not alcohol-related, but a reaction to prescribed medications. Part of the statement says, I would like to apologize with all my heart to my family, friends, and the fans. I expect more from myself, too. We will do everything... I will do everything in my power to ensure that this never happens again. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum is live with reaction from local fans. Ashley, are they forgiving or have they had enough? A little bit of both, Mel. And this is the most read story on newsforjacks.com. People cannot stop reading it and commenting, of course, giving their two cents on what they think. And, of course, this is not the first time that Tiger has made the headlines for his personal life. You'll remember back in 2009 when people couldn't stop talking about him then when his now ex-wife chased him with golf clubs, causing him to crash his car. And, of course, that was over a big scandal of cheating and um, of course, those uh, were revealed later on, those details. But again, back in the headlines this time, this is his mugshot from yesterday in Jupiter. Officers booked Woods on a DUI charge. Woods was pulled over at about 3 a.m. on Military Trail. That's not far from the home that he owns, as well as a bar. Now, Woods was booked into jail just after 7 a.m. and then released just before 11. We spoke with fans about the new trouble that he's in and, of course, what his reputation is like now. A man of, of tenure when it comes to his legacy and um, also just a human being that's who is capable of making mistakes just like anybody else. Seems to be a forgiving fan there. And of course, like I said, it has been mixed reactions. Um, you know, you read that statement earlier, so you know where he's coming from. We are going to get more details today when we get that police report. TMZ and New York Post are reporting that Tiger refused to do the breathalyzer. So we're going to see how that turns out for him. But we do know in the state of Florida that automatically, if you refuse, you get arrested, of course, and then your license is suspended. So we will bring you more details as we get them today and post them on newsforjacks.com. I'm live, Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station.